All right, welcome back to the Onshape basic training series. This is where we're putting together the box and the hinge. Um, so to do that, we need to click on this assembly one and it will come up with this assembly here. And the first thing we need to do is insert the bits that we've drawn. So make sure this parts bit is clicked. We're gonna click box one box, uh, I think it can just live anywhere, and this hinge, um, we're just going to move it sort of where we, somewhere convenient, not too far away, but not too close as well. All right, so we'll click tick on there, isometric. The first thing we need to do is fix something. So we're gonna click on the base, we're gonna right click and click fix so that means when things are moving it won't move all right so whoops we're on the wrong side there Let's see what that does all right fantastic okay one thing you might notice our hinge is the wrong way around it should be facing the other way so we're gonna move that we're gonna highlight all of it all three parts We're just going to move it around 180 degrees. Okay. The next thing that we are going to do is let's just hide this lid and we're going to fix these parts here. Okay, so we've got our hinge down here, it's facing the right way but we actually want to put it up here and it's a tight fit. So how we do that is with these things up here called make connectors. So we're going to click on, on this piece here underneath, click the tick, come back up here and in the corresponding place, we're going to put a make connector there. Okay, and then we're going to come up here and go fasten mate. And we're going to click this little mate connector that we put on. And we're going to click this mate connector here and you'll see that the hinge just moves up. I'm not sure why it isn't going as a whole unit. Um, But hopefully, uh, but you can try and figure it out, I'll try and figure it out, and we'll nut it out at some stage. Um, next thing, we're going to move the pin. So I'm just going to do the same thing again. It may not be the quickest way to do it, um, but it's the way that I sort of know how it works now. So come back up, make another mate connector up here. And then this is also a fasten mate. So click that mate connector, click that mate connector, and you'll see that the pin is now in the hinge. All right, so this is this next one's gonna be the same, except it is, so stick a, whoops, that wasn't right. Stick a mate connector there, make sure it's in the middle, it's very important, click the tick, and it looks like there's already something here that corresponds. So now we're going to go Revolute Mate. We're going to click on this one here. And we're going to come around and click on this one here. And you'll see that it jumps on. Does this work? Yeah, there you go. So you can see the hinge moving. Um, you can set limits for this, so it looks like I'm going to have to play around with it. No minimum, no maximum, 180. No 
no, I don't want to flip the primary axis. Let's really restrict it and see what happens. Nothing. I'm not sure what's going on with this. just leave it then. Whoops. Actually, I don't know if I should do that. Let's just leave it at 360 because that's no maximum. Alright, we'll click the tick. Okay, on top of this, if you look at our hinge, you'll notice there's a 90 degree corner in one, and this is 90 degrees too, but because it's got this hinge knuckle bit next to it it's probably going to be harder to find so what we'll do is we'll just put a mate connector on this side here and then we'll click the tick we will have a look at this lid again I wonder if we can move this lid we can so we'll click on this the arrow here and we'll just crank it up a bit that'll make it a bit easier put a mate connector on the corresponding section whoops so that's in here and we'll click the tick and then we just want to fasten these two so we're going to fasten this with that click the tick. Alright. So what happens if I move this? It all moves. And you can see that you can sort of animate it there. There is a way to do animations. If you play around with it, if you find out, let me know. You can also hide all these mate connectors so it doesn't look so sort of ugly and if you got an arrow there'll be a mate connector in there um, but yeah so when you're turning it just make sure that you turn the right one and I've kind of left it in the middle of nowhere but that looks pretty good it's not completely right but yeah, that's basically how you run a simple assembly with fixed mates, I'm oh, sorry, fasten mates and revolute mates. There is different types of mates. We might have to play around with them in future, um, but just for now, this is enough. All right, guys, see you in the next one.